The first time in nearly two decades, the FDA has approved a new drug for Alzheimer's disease. But the announcement comes with a bit of caution and controversy, so we're going to dive into it a little bit deeper here. First, let's start with the drug. It's called Adahelm, and it's made by pharmaceutical company Biogen. It's important to note that it is not a cure for Alzheimer's disease, but it does aim to slow the progression of the disease by removing sticky deposits of a protein called amyloid beta from the brains of patients with early stage disease. I think this is an exciting day for patients with Alzheimer's disease. It's the first disease modifying therapy that's been approved by the FDA. And by disease modifying, we mean that it's actually working on the underlying cause of Alzheimer's disease. Hearing that news and being a behavioral neurologist in the field, uh, it's the type of thing that you remember what you were doing when you, when you heard that news. And let me introduce you to those two experts you just heard from. You're going to hear from them again. I spoke to Mike Rosenblum, director of the Health Partner Center for Memory and Aging, and Dr. Ronald Peterson, director of the Mayo Clinic Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. Both doctors point out that while exciting, today's FDA approval is somewhat controversial. Biogen stopped two trials of the drug early in 2019 after they didn't appear to benefit patients. But a later analysis found that one of the trials did appear to be effective. Because of those mixed results, last year an FDA advisory panel did not recommend approving this drug, but today the FDA basically chose a middle ground, approving it on a conditional basis, meaning it will be available to patients, but full approval won't come until Biogen completes a much bigger trial. This is a nice compromise. Uh, you engage the industry and also you engage um, you know, the, the, the need for oversight, and there will be de a degree of oversight in a phase four trial. So it's sort of a, we're going to approve it for a while, but you have to show us that it in fact does make a clinical difference. In the meantime, both doctors say they can start working with Alzheimer's patients to see if the drug is a good fit. That part won't be easy. The drug could cost $56,000 a year if it's not covered by insurance or Medicare and it will require extensive tests on the front end and periodic MRIs throughout in order to check for serious side effects. You know, I think it was a pretty gutsy move on the, on the part of the FDA, um, but I think it just puts more uh, responsibility on the clinician and we just have to be, just be mindful when the risks of the drug outweigh the benefits. It's not clear cut at all. And so we will have to be responsible into how we present the data, how we define which patients are most eligible for getting this treatment, and then explaining the potential side effects as well. The drug may do what it's supposed to do, but it could be a modest effect. Despite all of that caution, that comes with it. Again, this is a day many families and advocacy organizations have been hoping for. Our Carla Holt spoke to the Alzheimer's Association about how FDA approval could shift the landscape for patients and families beyond just this one drug. It just seems like this bright ray of light that we're getting in the form of an FDA approval. It does. I hope they all rejoice in this, in this news because it is going to make a difference. And we are going to see such a difference 5, 10, 15 years down the road, not only because of this drug, but this is just the start, Carla. Think about what we are going to learn from this and how it impacts people. It is going to break open the science for everyone and for many different companies as they look at building upon what we learn now to how this will change for the future.